What's up, guys? It's your boy Krat here. Uh, sippy sippy, uh, and welcome to a lazy scapers guide to Zolcano. Uh, this one has been requested for some time now, and I just got around to doing it now. So, easy peasy, uh, the requirements are going to be, obviously, uh, Song of the Elves. So if you're looking for like a mining guide or anything like that, uh, you might be uh, a little shit out of luck here. So, <coughs> yeah, it's going to be Song of the Elves. A pretty decent high mining level, uh, probably higher than mine to be honest, because this I'm on this Locato Mass World, so people are gonna be way better than me at this. Um, to get there, you could have the enhanced teleport crystal, or you can use the da -da 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 -da, the spirit tree. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, excuse me. You could use the Spirit Tree in the Grand Exchange and just go to Prif. And now that we are in Prif and we are post out, we are going to run from the Spirit Tree here to Zolcano's. Oh, fuck. To Zolcano's prison here. Ah, oh, easy peasy. Uh, so I'm going to go in. See what's popping here. <laughs> okay, so it looks like they're mid kill. So we will chill for a sec and then hop in after. But right now, here is the setup I'm running. It's a little ghetto, but either way, it's either going to be your best um, fair rock or prospector. If you de don't have either, um, Graceful is great too for conserving run energy. It's just with the Varrock and the Prospector. You get some mining bonuses, and we're going to be mining uh, Tethra, which is the ore that you actually imbue uh, with Runecraft to actually hurt the boss. Since this is a non-combat boss, this is a skilling boss, I have to be a little extra careful because I'm sculled up because I was PKing last night and doing uh, wildy bosses, so yeah. This is the, my setup I'm running. <coughs> uh, best pickaxe you can get. Uh, I have a god book here or damage book just for max prayer bonus. <laughs> oh, so you're done. So we'll do an example kill right now. <laughs> I have not done this boss in a hot minute. Pretty sure we just protect magic. Okay, so we're going to run to the glowing rock formations here. We're going to get a ton of Tethra. Now we're going to run over here. We're going to refine it. <coughs> Dodge boulder. I gotta be a little faster here, so. And not do that. So, uh, every phase she goes ape shit and she will get rid of any tether you had in mind previously, so you can't just prep for the next phase. Do not take damage from the boulders here, whatever you do. It's literally a simplified version if you're just going for like KUC and pet chance or whatever. Um, literally just follow the horde here. Everyone knows what they're doing probably a lot better than me. 
Just get as much as you can in this whip with the boss. You'll be eligible for a drop if you damage her on both her phases. Okay, we go down here. Easy peasy. Not bad. Crystal shards, steel bars. Uh, obviously, if you get really good at this, you'll probably never need a whole lot of food. So we're gonna do a better kill. I'm gonna fucking pull up my socks here and actually try to get some good damage in. Glowing rock formation. That was pretty decent. I'm still with the horde. Not bad, I got some damage in. Oh yeah, some people are definitely waiting for the uh, energy pools here. So when she does that, um, that attack that spawns all the orange and uh, blue circles in the ground, um, do not for the love of God, do not walk through the orange. It hurts a lot. Oh. I'm just going to use this. Uh, if you'd like, you can always wait for the blue circles there. And uh, stand in the blue circle. It actually empowers your uh, Tethra throw. So it does a bit more damage. <coughs> <coughs> if she doesn't go down here, I will wait for the blue circle and sh show you what I mean. So like right here, you do a lot more damage. You should go down here. This is like one of the better skilling bosses they made. And there we go. So that kill was a bit more cleaner. Um, could have been better. Silver and steel bars. You get a lot of like smithing and uh, <coughs> mining materials. I'll do one more kill here just for the video. I just want for dodge. Shoot, I'm not gonna. Oh, no, she does. Okay. 
That was silly. Big damn damn. So literally like the best thing about this boss is that you have, if you're really good at her, you have plenty of opportunities to just not take damage and you can stay here for so long. I'm not very well versed in the skilling bosses so... If you're here just to get KC, just, these guys are perfect. And I'm pretty sure we're all waiting for the uh... Alright, last kill. But No. I'm going to teleport and go to service. Not bad, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to teleport out. <laughs> now, if you're not going super sweaty like me... Sorry. Yeah, if you're not sweating... Uh, like others and you're just trying to casually do it just to get some KC or whatever you're not gonna make a ton of money three kills 66k it's not great but um if you get super good at it and you get MVPs you get rerolls you get pet chance stuff like that so it's always a pretty good time anyways that's gonna be it have yourselves a great day peace out